Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's gonna be a little Sunday vlog. I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me for my Sunday. I am currently in the parking lot at First Watch. I'm meeting Katie here. We're gonna get brunch and then we're just gonna kind of see where the day takes us. I wanna do an outfit of the day, but I'm in my car right now, but I'm just gonna show you anyway. I'm just wearing a sports bra. It's like a really laid back outfit, but I feel like it's cute for fall. It's just like biker shorts, sports bra, tank top, and then I have on like this flannel tied around my waist and then just like my plain white vans. It's very, very cute. Are you ever just sitting there and then you like feel your legs, especially your knees, and you're like, dang, I need to shave my legs. Spiky. I'm with Katie now, whose face shall not be shown. She doesn't want to be on camera. But we are about to go into Home Goods now. We just finished eating breakfast and it was so good. And now we're gonna go shop around and look at the fall stuff. I'm very excited. Off we go to the greatest place of all. Why did I think Kirkland's was like right next to it? It's not, it's Burlington and then that. And Ulta. You are the pumpkin to my pie. Oh, that does smell kind of nice. I like the lid. So cute. Looking for like some cute stuff for my office. Oh, it's just like some random person sitting on the couch. Katie loves a good basket. For like blankets or something? Yes, I have no idea where I'd put it, but... Oh my god, I love it. It's really pretty. Like these, too. Yeah. Just so pretty. I found a white rug in home goods that I'm gonna use as a flat lay background because I'm really into flat lays now for the boutique and so I found this one and Katie's helping me. She's got like the best sense of style so we're trying to work on another little project for me to film stuff for the boutique. We're going to Kirkland's now and sorry if this angle is really accentuating my double chin. I know it is. But I don't have sunglasses on, it's really bright, I can't see anything. But we're going to Kirkland's because I am in search of some things that I can basically decorate my corner of my office for so that I can use that as a location to film reels because there's some other really cute small boutiques that I found on TikTok that have really pretty decorated backgrounds and I'm inspired now and I wanna recreate that so that I can have like a special space to film. Katie and I just found these really, really cute stools. We're at Target now. And this is gonna be perfect to go in my little corner. It's 60 bucks. It's by Hearth and Hand. I really like it. I think it's cute. She's wanted to get that one, but it's a little bit wobbly. So we're gonna see if it's at the other Target. But I love this. This is gonna be so cute with a little plant on it. Just started pouring down rain, but we just got our pumpkin drinks while we were in um, Target and I got the pumpkin cream cold brew. Katie got a pumpkin spice latte And we're just drinking our pumpkin coffee while it's raining now <laughs> We're going to world market Katie just helped me find this little what do you call it a poof <laughs> a poof it's kind of like a little ottoman thing, but this one's a lot smaller. And I'm gonna use it to decorate in my corner with that little stool from Target. She said to like vary them in height. And then I'm gonna see if I can find a little plant, maybe a little baby throw blanket or something. And then I'll have like the perfect spot to like do some pictures, film some Instagram reels. Just found this nice little wooden stand thing for $5 in the dollar section at Target. And they had one of these, it was a little bit bigger at Kirkland. It was probably like 30 or something or more, so great find if you want to check your target dollar section me the idea of like getting some pumpkins which I already have and putting them on it like this you know like a couple little pumpkins on it putting it on like the coffee table the opal house candles what is harvest brunch I need to know what this smells like oh, that does smell really good not gonna lie it's a good one harvest apples always a good one. Oh yeah that's a favorite. I love apple smelling stuff. We're at Panera Bread right now. 
getting our lunch. We almost didn't eat lunch and just went and got frozen yogurt, but I'm proud of us. We decided to actually have a real lunch. My usual grilled cheese and tomato soup, and then they have this like tomato cucumber salad, which is super good. So I decided to get that instead of a baguette, okay? It's my healthy alternative, even though I'm eating this. Back home now, I am so tired. Shopping really takes it out of you, plus it's like four o'clock, and I also, I'm just like, Whew, I'm so tired. I'm like laying on the couch debating if I want to take a little nap because it's Sunday or if I shouldn't because it's already four o'clock and it might like mess up my sleep schedule tonight. I don't know what to do. I really want to take my makeup off though because I'm breaking out really bad down here and I kind of want to put like a mask on and just give my skin a break, you know, from the makeup for the rest of the day. But I just started laundry and I'm about to have... A little snack some of these pretzels i saw that they had these in honey mustard so i got them i'll let you know how they are good morning guys it's the next day it's actually labor day now and i am in the starbucks drive through even though i just went through and i got my drink but then emily texted me saying that she wanted something after i had like just left the window so i'm pulling back around to grab her drink really quick um i'm meeting her to take pictures for sun style today she's gonna model for me and then she's also gonna help me take some pictures as well because i've been trying to model again for the boutique because it's fun and you know i like to be the model too sometimes i didn't vlog anything else last night because i was so lazy when i got home shopping is exhausting i came home and i was just like i'm not doing anything else I actually did do my laundry. I folded all my laundry, washed everything, and put all of that away. But that's the only thing I did. I didn't do any planning, and I kind of justified it with the fact that today's a holiday, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to take any orders to the post office today. This is like the majority of the work I'm doing today since it's a holiday. I'm just doing um, a photo shoot for Sunstyled, but I just figured, you know, I can like use today to plan and kind of prep for the week because it's basically like another Sunday since it's a holiday. Of course, when I came through the drive-thru first, there was like no one here and now there's like a whole line. Okay, I just got here. I put the outfits in my phone and then I have my little duffel bag back there with everything in it for the photo shoot. Coffee's of course mine and then Emily's is a chai. Ready to go shoot this content. I'm back home now and I'm about to make a really quick lunch. It's been a few hours. I finished uploading all of the photos to my computer, going through them, picking the ones I like, and I got so much done. It worked out so well where uh, Emily was able to like shoot me wearing the stuff because I got double the amount of outfits done. So I love that. It just makes it so much easier for me because now I don't have to plan another shoot day this week. I already got it all done. This is me trying not to have a bowl of cereal for lunch, even though that sounds way better. I was gonna make like cucumber salad things similar to what I had yesterday, but my tomatoes weren't good. Um, so I decided to just cut up some cucumbers and then use the spinach I had. And I'm gonna use some of this Greek vinaigrette and eat this and then I'm gonna have some chips, not gonna lie. After getting this stuff with Katie yesterday, I think I want to start setting up that little corner that I was telling you guys I'm trying to create to film Instagram reels and sometimes take pictures for the website. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to my polka dot wall because 
that's the only corner I can do this in and I don't want the polka dots. I've been thinking about getting rid of it for a little while now, so we're gonna see how easy the peel and stick actually comes off. Had it up for a while, I knew it wasn't gonna be a forever thing, so I'm excited to say goodbye to it, but yeah, I'm gonna attempt to peel this off. I really, really hope it comes off easy. The reason I picked this particular wallpaper um, at Target was because it was supposed to be a safe and easy peel and stick, comes off non-damaging, so we'll see. So I just peeled this whole spot off, and as you guys can see, it didn't mess up the paint at all, and the paint on here is like really textured. I don't know what you call this. Well, or the drywall is really yes. textured. Um, so we didn't know what would happen, but it just peels off really, really easy. So I'm really, really glad. Much later now, we just changed the bulb in our dining room and it is way 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 too bright so disregard that but we just made trader joe's orange chicken with rice for dinner we should have made broccoli with it yeah we just didn't have any oh you can barely see me right now and it's probably for the best because i just wiped all my makeup off and i put toner on and i'm waiting for this to like soak in my skin and then i'll put my night cream the elf sleeping mask thing that i showed you guys in my last vlog i used it last night and i'm gonna use it again tonight i really like it it's super moisturizing and it has like some pretty good stuff in it i think it's got hyaluronic acid which is really good for hydrating the skin and then that other cream that i've been using in the morning has selectic acid i believe or maybe it's the other way around one's like good for breakouts and the other one's like good for hydrating but anyway yeah see skin is just not doing the best and i also don't have my acrylics on and so i've been biting my freaking nails you can't really tell but like i've already been biting them because that's what happens when i don't have acrylics i just like go back to the same old habits biting my nails but anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here um chad's making us tea and i'm going to settle down in bed and read my book thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video